good morning students today our topic is performance analysis of cylindrical parabolic concentrating collector okay so we have uh, so many types of uh, collectors uh, flat plate and uh, concentrating non concentrating type so the cylindrical parabolic uh, concentrating collector is a one among them it can able to give a uh, more performance we are going to discuss uh, the performance of this uh, collector with respect to heat loss amount of heat extraction and the efficiency point of collector efficiency point of view okay so before going to start the analysis we should understand that this is a symbolic representation diagram of the cylindrical parabolic collector cross sectional view okay so here this is a concentrator having a width of w the length is represented as l the solar incident radiation which is falling over the parabolic concentrating collector and it is are concentrated at a one focal point where the focal point we are having a collector tube will be there inside of the collector tube we have a working filled water or it may be any working filled with respect to our uh, requirement this is tf and uh, tp tc and delta x uh, these are the uh, um, temperature of the plate temperature of the collector temperature of the input fuel and uh, delta x is here distance between the collector uh, Okay. We can have a cross sectional uh, representation. You can able to cover the wide range of aperture range one to sixty centimeter square. The width ranging from one to six meter. The concentration ratios are ranging from ten to eighty. In the rim, it is having a seventy to one twenty. it is shown in the figure the absorption tube is usually made as a stainless steel material or copper and have a diameter of to around 2.5 to 5 cm so this specification you have to write and it is coated with the heat resistance black point black paint it's not a point black paint generally surrounded by the concentrated glass cover with the annular cap of 1 to 2 cm but in case of if you need a very high performance the absorber tube can be coated with some selective surface materials having a high absorbability and the space between the tubes and the glass cover is evacuated in order to reduce the heat loss it can be evacuated that means vacuum can be created for in case of very small collectors the concentrated cover is replaced by glass or plastic sheet covering the whole aperture area <coughs> again the, the same circuit diagram is repeated here the liquid heated in the collector depends upon the temperature required the usually we have an have some water or any organic heat transfer fluid normally a thermic fluid can also be a used for our analysis the reflecting surface is generally curved back silvered glass it is a fixed on lightweight structure usually made up of aluminum the setup is kept in the frame of aluminum and the proper design has to be made in order to hold the or in order to withstand the weight as well as the wind speed it should not be get any damage the design has to be design the structure has to be designed as well and one thing uh, this is already in research the flat plate cutters are now available in many market but uh, in case of uh, this type of uh, collectors are commercially not yet manufactured okay. and performance studies uh, right now we have discussed about the what is the cross sectional area what is the structure of the collector we have discussed from now we are going to discuss about the uh, concentrating ratio what is concentrating ratio and how much uh, energy balance equation we are can obtain and what's the value of uh, useful heat energy gain and uh, collector efficiency factor removal factor everything we are going to discuss on that you write the expression as usual as it is performance of the cylindrical parabolic concentrating collector whose concentrators have aperture of w length is l rim angle is referred as a pi r the absorber tube has an inner diameter di outer diameter d not and the concentrating glass cover inner diameter is a dci and outer uh, is referred to as dc not absorber is referred to as a di and d not concentrating collector is referred to as a notation of underscript dc okay 
the fluid which is being heated in the collector has the mass flow rate of m specific heat of cp and the temperature uh, inlet temperature is tifi and outlet temperature is tf not this, these are the notations we are using here okay the collector is operated in any one of the modes and the beam radiation is normally incident on the aperture it is referred as a ib into rb and in case of reflector radiation it is referred as a ir into rr we will discuss later the sun rays which are incident at an angle will reach the uh, parabolic uh, collector and it is a reflector and the reflected rays are concentrated at a point of focal point where the absorber tube and uh, fluids are kept the concentration ratio it is something but you may ask me to mask what is the concentration of the collector effective aperture area divided by absorber tube area in the effective aperture area is w minus d not into l divided by absorber tube area is pi dl by dl okay so in ll get cancel we have w d not by pi d not which is an expression and the similar uh, to analysis of a liquid flat plate collector the energy balance of an elementary slice dx of the absorber tube at a distance x from the inlet to give the following expression at a steady state condition so dqu these are the representations useful heat energy rate for the length of dx for the small length of dx the useful heat gain rate is expressed as above and the ib or b is nothing but a beam radiation ib or b with respect to tau I, I, alpha is reported as a direct incidence where in case of rho is considered it is a specular reflectivity factor of the concentrated collector the first term which is reported as a reflected uh, reflected radiation and the second one is referred as a beam radiation and the, the, these are the notations gamma is nothing but interceptive factor fraction of reflected radiation into the by the absorber tube the tau alpha is as but average value of the transmitted absorber tube ul is nothing but overall loss coefficient tp is a local temperature of the absorber tube t is a ambient temperature this is a representation notation of the expression 4.12 as already told that the first term which is representing the reflected radiation because the term rho is included second one is referred as a direct beam radiation the ul which is referred as a heat overall loss coefficient in the manner similar to adapted flat plate cutters we can define the absorber flux s s is something but absorber flux it is derived from the above useful heat gain expression same expression we have a first we are concerned with the first two expression only and by substituting this 4.121 in expression 4.120 and this uh, expression d q u becomes in terms of absorber flux s terms the useful gate gain can be expressed in another term h into f into pi d into tp minus t f into dx that means m is nothing but mass flow rate hf is nothing but heat transfer coefficient on the inside surface of the tube under the absorber uh and tp is a local fluid temperature that means uh, it is a working fluid temperature by combining 4.121 and 4.122 here you have to make a 4.121 and 22 we can able to calculate the uh, final expression called f dash s yes, into this is expression okay the f dash is referred as a character efficiency factor okay and uh, the final uh, we can we can uh, represent in the useful heat gain by combining the above expressions mass flow rate and uh, fin electrolytic efficiency we can summarize that here the fr is represented as a heat removal factor m dot cp to the by pi dl l into l m is mass flow rate coefficient d not is a uh, two power diameter outer diameter l is the length of this one l is the heat loss coefficient so we have expression f dash is nothing but a uh, collector efficiency factor by including all the things we can able to get the heat removal factor finally we can come to the instantaneous collector efficiency is in terms of both uh, beam radiation as well as the reflected radiation 
but if you are not interested in, in the ground and reflected radiation is neglected because of the low reflectivity factor uh, we can able to consider under the beam radiation hence the overall efficiency of the collector with respect to incident beam radiation becomes q u divided by i b r b into w into l this is the final collector efficiency we have